Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and welcome back to my channel Fun with Data Science. So today we are going to discuss that what is variance and how do we calculate variance when we get some of the data points or when we get some population of data. So let me once revise that in the last lecture we have read about the start sample and population and there I introduced you the two, uh, with two terms that first one is the population mean and second was the sample mean. So basically population mean what is the formula for that is sigma n is equal to 1 to capital N and this capital N belongs to the population. The total population which we are going to take and after that uh, sigma that is a sum that is summation and then x in upon capital of N. And for the sample mean what I, what I introduced was sigma uh, n is equal to small n and after that x in upon small n. So basically this small n was the sample. Uh, the data sets of the sample which we had taken that was 6, 6.5, 7, 6.75 and 7.5. So this was the thing which we discussed in the last lecture. Today we are going to discuss about the variance that what is variance and how do we calculate it. So let me introduce with the definition that variance means how far a data set is spread out. It is mathematically defined as the average of the square differences from the mean. Now let me tell you. Let me write it here that this mu was a population mean, right? As you all remember, this mu was the population mean and this x bar was the sample mean. So only I'm writing here sample mean. So yes, uh, we have discussed this mu and x bar. Now let's take an example and then I will explain your definition more accurately. Let's take an example for 2, 2, 3, 4, 3. Let's say this is a population and uh, I want to find out the population mean. As it is a population, so we'll found out, find the population mean only. So let me write that mu is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 upon and uh, for that we need to write 4. So this was the uh, way of finding this. Now, what, when I will calculate what I will get here as 2.5, right? So, I got 2.5 here as the, out, as the mean, population mean. And let's say I take another data point that is 0, 0, 5, 5. And let's say I want the population mean for this. And so, what I'm doing is that I'm doing summation of all the points which are present here. And then dividing by the total number of points. So what I get here is again 2.5 as the mean. But notice one thing. Let me take a different color for it. And uh, let me take a green color. Okay. So now let, let's let see and let's notice that it, this 2.5 is close between 2 and 3. So this 2.5 that, that is the mean of these points is close. But this 2.5 isn't close to this 0 and 5. We can say that 0055, the mean, uh, the population mean for this or the four points is 2.5. But it this this isn't too much closer that it is like 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. This is very much closer to 2.5. But this 5, 0, 0, 5, 5, this is not that much closer to 2.5. Now here comes the variance. So what I told you about the definition that variance measures how far a data set is spread out. Now when we will calculate the variance of these two data sets, we will get to know that how far the data sets are spread out. So here we have taken the population mean and then what is the mathematical definition and from here only we derive the formula for variance that it is the average of the square differences from the mean. Now let me introduce you to the formula for variance and let me go a little bit down. So let me write a heading here as variance and we denote variance using this sign. So this sign is basically known as sigma. So this is a sigma sign. We basically call it as sigma and this is the denotion of sigma. Now let me change again the color. So this uh, sigma square is equal to. Now here I am putting this summation sign. And it is going from i is equal to 
1 to n n is basically that data point that population points which i am taking let me rub it and write here capital n and then what i am doing here is that xi minus mu mu is the population mean and dividing all these things by capital n so here what i am doing is that this capital n points to my population the total points in my in my population so here what i am doing that i had taken four points in there so what is this this capital n will belong to four and this i will go from one till four so it will take four points that is one two three and four so i hope i made this clear to you and now let's find out that what is the way for finding the variance now for that here i need to make a table and let me draw it roughly only this okay so let me erase this and let me draw a straight line because otherwise i will not be able to draw a single straight line because yeah like as you can see my drawing is a little bit bad and then uh, here what i need to do is draw a uh, one more line and now i need to draw the last line okay so by mistake i had drawn this arrow this line okay so now let me take a color and then we will move on to right okay so here what i'm going to define is i then here i'm going to define xi then here i am going to write mu then here i am going to write xi minus mu and here i am going to define xi minus mu to the whole square right so whatever the points which i had taken they were 2 2 and 3 first i will find for the these points which were uh, let me write it here 2 comma 2 comma 3 comma 3 now let's write that what is i here i will move to 4 right okay so hold on okay so i is 1 2 3 4 because we have taken 4 points here right now what is this xi here so xi are these points which we are taking so basically let me write it here 2 comma 2 this 3 and 3 so what it tells us here that x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 2, x3 is equal to 3 and x4 is equal to 3. Now let me take a little bit thinner pen and then I will tell you writing all the things. So here, let me write it here that x1 is equal to 2, right? x2 is equal to 2 x3 is equal to 3 and x4 is equal to 3. So basically what I mean to tell you here is that this i will go from 1 to 4 and it will cover all your 4 points which are present here. Right? Okay. Now let me again take that black color and now what I am going to tell you. Okay. Right. So we have found i and then x i. So we had already find that mu value here. So let me write, let me take you to here. So what was the mu value for 2, 2, 3, 3? So basically it was 2.5. So let me write everywhere here as 2.5, 2.5, then once more and then this one 2.5. Now, okay. So here now what I need to do is for finding the variance is that I need to do xi minus mu. So this xi minus this. Okay, so let me write or pick otherwise it will seem as it's a bar upon x of i. So here xi minus mu. So when I will subtract 2 minus 2.5, I will get here minus 0.5, right? Again here minus 0 0.5, I will get 0 point positive 0 0.5 and then positive 0 0.5. So this much subtraction you all should be knowing and yeah you all must be knowing right. Okay. So after that now what I need to do is that I need to take a square of x minus mu. So xi minus mu so when I will take a square of this negative and the positive numbers I will always give the 
पॉजिटिव नंबर्स हेयर सो स्क्वायर फॉर 0.25 0.5 इज 0.25 लेट मी राइट ओनली 0.2 ओके लेट्स ऐड द जीरो आल्सो एंड हेयर आल्सो 0.25 so this was the way that we found mu x i minus mu x i minus mu and then whole square now let's have a summation for this and it will give me the value as 1 right okay so now let's move a little bit more down and what was the formula for our finding the variance that was sigma is square then summation i is equal to 1 to n Okay, let me write capital N. Then it was x i minus mu whole square upon capital of n. So this was the formula, right? So we had already find this x i minus mu ka whole square, which was going from i is equal to one to capital N, that is the population. And this in this example which I have taken, this population is four. So it has gone from one to four, and then x i minus mu whole square. So what I got the output here is that I wow I got this one here when I solve this upper portion, right? Now for the lower portion, what I need to do is that this is here written capital N. So this capital N is the four. That is the total population. So it is four. Now when I am writing four here, so what the output I am getting is zero point two five, right? Okay. So let me rub this once again and let me write in a different color. So it's zero point two five. So this is the variance which I got when I Found the variance for this first number that is two two three three. Now let's quickly go and do the same for zero comma zero comma five comma five. Now let me go a little bit down once more, and let me select select some lines here of let's say okay okay this one line. Let me make it a little bit smaller this time like. Last time it was a little bit of larger, right? Okay, so one, two, three, oh, four and five. I guess this much points are enough for us. So okay, now let me take a different color. That where is my black color? I what lost it or what? So here what I'm going to write is I. Here I'm going to write my x of I then x i minus mu. Okay, let me do it in the previous way only. Let's write mu here. X i minus mu and then x i minus mu to the whole square. Right. Now let me take a little thinner pen. This one. Okay. Now my i is from one to. Three and four. This thing you all know. And x i the points which are uh, we are taking is zero comma zero comma five comma five. So let's write first here zero zero five five. Now you by the time you all must be knowing that what is x one x two x two and x four. Now I'm not going to tell you all these things here. Now my mu was two point five. Okay. Let me show you this thing. Oh oh. Hold on. Fine. So this 2.5 was my mean, that population mean when I found uh, for 0 comma 0 comma 5 comma 5 for all these four points, right? So let me do it a little bit downside. Fine. My mu was 2.5. Now let me fastly write it here 2.5, 2.5, right? Now when I am going to do x i minus mu, what I am going to get here is zero minus zero minus 2.5. Here also minus 2.5, and here I am going to get the positive 2.5, right? Now I am going to do a square where it is written x i minus mu whole square, so it is 6.25, 6.25. 
6.25 and then last also it's 6.25 as you know when we do the square of negative or positive numbers we always get the positive ones okay so now let's again write the formula for this variance and let me go down okay fine so here when i will do the summation for all these ones so i will get the output here as 25 right when i will uh, add all the five all these four points so let's write the formula so it was sigma square summation i is equal to 1 to capital n it was xi minus mu whole square upon n so i'm not writing this formulas again and again for me i'm writing this formula for you because i care that you all are practicing with me so that if you write the formula again and again you will remember it you need not to take the notebook and alone and then you need not to roam here and there and learn the formulas when you will write you will only remember them right so what i written here is that i had written sigma i is equal to one to capital n capital n is the population and xi minus mu mu is the population mean whole square upon n so where how, what i got by calculating the above part is 25 right and what i got by calculate by this n is 4 so when i am going to divide this i am going to get the output as 6 point okay hold on hold on let me rub it and write it with another color okay so it is 6 point now let's move above side so now here when i found the variance for this points that was 0 comma 0 comma 5 comma 5 i got the variance as 6.25 and here what i got got the variance was 0 0.25 now let's move here and let me no, here what was the variance that was, let me write it here. Seriously, is this 0.25? Okay, fine. Just one second, 0.25 and then it was 6.25. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Now let me change the color and let me go to another fine, this one okay now let me go a little down and here let's see that what we got here for sigma square is 0 0.25 right and here what i got for sigma square is 6.25 so what i wanted to convey from here this example is that what i was telling you in the definition is that variance measure variance measures how far a data set is spread out so it is telling and now we can verify from here also that this 2.5 is close to this other than this right so this was the thing which i wanted to convey here that variance measures how far a data set is spread out so this was the way how do we find variance for some points here i had taken some population uh, two population examples that was 2 comma 2 comma 3 comma 3 and 0 comma 0 comma 5 comma 5 and after that by this uh, tabular method we found xi minus mu is square and then here i found the final standard deviation and then same uh, hold on and then same for the second example the second number which we have taken i had found the uh, standard deviation and xi minus mu to the whole square i hope i made this clear to you that what is a variance and how do we find variance using some numbers so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye